best 50 EMA trading strategy. I just want to share with anyone who does not have an idea of how to use 50 EMA trading strategy or they don't know the power in it. So in this video, I want to share this moving average that is very powerful, that will make your trading easy, that will make your entry better, and that will make you to know what to look when you when you want to enter any trade so the first thing that i want to share with you is what is 50 ema what is 50 ema so uh 50 ema is an exponential moving average strategy or ema strategy it is used to identify the predominant trend in the market it can also provide the support and resistance level to execute your trade so many traders out there use 50 ema there are some who use 20 ema there are some who use even 100 200 ema it all depends with the your preference and if you have tested and you have gotten results it's okay so in this video i will show you 50 ema because that's what i use and i have seen it works magic so we are on the daily time frame as you can see the 50 ma is the black moving average that i have highlighted here and uh, let's see for the trend uh the previous pattern um we can see uh let's see how the 50 ama help us so the first thing that you need to understand is that if the 50 ema uh is crossing on uh towards the price I don't know if I can use um, an example. If the 50 EMA is crossing the price, these are the price and the 50 EMA is crossing through the price, that um, that market means it is consolidation and maybe you may lack um, a good entry because you, you are likely to be stopped out. So if you see 50 EMA crossing or just moving, um, or on in the middle of the price just avoid that trade of the day as you can see remember guys this is a higher time frame those who trade on a daily or a higher time frame if you see something like this you will not enter such a trade because it is uh, in the middle of a uh, of the price so again if you see a moving average when it is above if you see moving 50 EMA above the uh, below the price, sorry. So we have our 50 EMA like that, and then the price is above. We look for a buy. So that's all you need to know. We look for a buy. Uh, the the trend is buy. So for instance. So for instance, if you see the 50 EMA, it's below the price. For instance, this price was down here and then it broke, it retest. You see here, guys, it broke. So in this case, this 50 MA is acting as resistance. So it came and then it broke the resistance. Now the 50 MA and then retested. So your entry would have been here because the price is above the 50 EMA. If you are looking for sell opportunity, the, the 50 MA should be above the price. If you want for a buy opportunity, the price should be up. Uh, the 50 MA should be below the price. I don't know if I'm confusing you. The 50 MA should be below the price if it's a, a trend, an upward trend like this. If it is an upward trend, this 50 MA should be below. If it is a downward trend, the 50 MA should be above. And as you can see, let's say you just open the the chart and you're looking and then you see something like this let's say we, we don't know what happens here uh, we don't know what will happen so we see the sellers just going down we don't know if this is a downtrend or maybe it is a retracement but when it touches our 50 ma and then it consolidates and it continues moving you know this now is a downtrend and that's the power of the 50 EMA as long as the price so for instance if the the 50 EMA is above the price and it is a sell it's an a downward trend you don't look for buy because you are likely to get stopped out or you are likely to be on the negative side all of your trade so that's the power of the 50 EMA let's go to a smaller time frame now this is our four hour as you can see our four hour let me show you you see how like I was telling you if the 
50 EMA is going across the price we really need to avoid to take a trade. You see, it is going across the price. It means this moment, this the whole of this time was a consolidation time. And when you enter such a trade, you 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 are easily get stopped out very quickly. So you just wait for opportunity where the 50 EMA it's either below the price or above the price and here we have said if it is below the price it is a, an uptrend and we are looking for a buy opportunity if it is below the price this is our 50 EMA so this is our 50 EMA this one is our 50 EMA So when it is below the price is an uptrend and when it is below the price we only use it as our support so when it when the price come near the 50 EMA you are looking to see what will happen you are looking for a price action to see what is your next move so if it comes close and then it the price gets rejected you see this blue it's a rejection so you can buy if it comes close and then break you just avoid uh, you wait to get a price action so that you can react on the market. So that's a four hour time frame. And you can see this USD card. I didn't tell you we are reviewing USD card on the time frame. Uh, as you can see here, uh, let me just give you a minute to tell me what is happening here. Our our 50 EMA is below the price. So, and it is reacting as support. It is reacting as support. And, I, and like I've told you, if it is below the price, you are looking for buy opportunity. Until this price, maybe it breaks the 50 EMA and now the 50 EMA becomes, uh, comes above, we still look for a a buy opportunity because at this moment you see this this place this place it's acting as support you see the price is coming here get rejected come here get rejected come here get rejected maybe after it hits this place so many times it will break through and then we will look for sell opportunity but as something like this when it is just hitting the support you don't do anything. These are the trades that you avoid because when you enter, you don't know where to put your stop loss. You don't know where to take your profit because it is in consolidation. So a, a, a chart like this or a market like this, you just wait, you observe and really uh, you can wait to, for a price action so that you can enter so let's go let's scale now down to one hour so if i go to the same place for an one hour i've told you when the price is above the 50 ema this is our 50 ema when the price is above our 50 ema we are looking for buy when it is above the when it is above the price uh when when the price is above the 50 ema we look for buy opportunity so even if we put let's say for example we we want to long here you see maybe we put our stop loss the previous low and then maybe we are we want maybe one is to either two or three ratio you see you you, you won't be stopped out because the 50 EMA really helps you to understand what the market or where the market is going. So guys, this is very important. It is very important. As you can see here after, after it broke the price, so like I have said, if the price is cutting across the, uh, if the 50 EMA is cutting across the price, avoid that trade because you don't know exactly what the market wants. The buyers and the sellers have the same control. And if you may short this market and maybe get stopped out by the buyers or you may long this market and get stopped out by the seller. So when it is crossing the, 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 the price, avoid this market until it gives either it breaks it breaks and retest you can enter or it goes up and maybe it it retests or it it has a pullover you can long the market